Good day everyone and welcome to a new update of the markets as we see that we've got some volatility on the markets and today we are mainly going to discuss Ethereum but um, first we can do some smallish Bitcoin um, analysis here as uh, we've got some movements as I just said. Before we start, I would like to mention that I've got an Instagram page and my own website. If you're interested in trading alongside me or getting better into trading, please visit the website that's in the description or in the first reply. Also check out my Instagram where I'm posting stuff regarding trading and my entire life. Regarding the markets, um, we've got some movements here, which is obviously great. Um, the overall construction that we had to hold is the area between 11.2 to 11.3 uh, which uh, frequently has been support in the previous period and got rejected previously as well uh, we flipped there which is a bullish sign which is indicating that we're getting back into this range construction that we've had throughout august so based on that figure and holding the 11.1 to 11.3 area i'm assuming that we're getting a situation like we've seen here through that we can just continue grinding upwards towards 12k uh, perhaps even run towards 12.2 to 12.3 and reverse from there in the scenario that i'm describing here through which we can have a new range bound construction um, that will also suit the fact that we most likely get a period of um, some sideways or at least relief rallies on the altcoins um, let's erase this um, we do have a crucial breaker for uh, bitcoin as you can see around 12k uh, we do also see that we're getting a range bound area uh, between 11 to 12 or 10 to 12 through which another breakdown and some tests could occur um, after which a breakout would most likely happen later on in uh, the beginning of 2021 um, throughout that the fact is that the last big hurdle is this 12k zone i have described that previously in the uh, video from yesterday um, if we break 12k i think we're going to run towards 17k in one go and it would also cause the other parts of the markets to do relatively well throughout which we can describe that ethereum is one of those assets that will probably start to run relatively fast what is one of the crucial level that we had to hold on ethereum well that's initially the 318 bucks area uh, we've held we've held there um, we might be getting there for another test and a later stage if we copy paste the movements we've had in 2019 most likely if we get towards 250 bucks that would be an impressive uh, long opportunity it's less likely that we're getting there as there is such a demand such an open interest into bitcoin and ethereum that it's very unlikely that we're getting to that stage unless there is some uh, um bearish momentum in the equity markets or some crisis stuff coming up again that's just causing panic um, daily time frame we can see that 318 is holding support rejected at the resistance at 390 which is also the crucial barrier at this point double bottom test higher lows construction in which previous support becomes support again breakout upwards and if we zoom in we can see that once we break through the 390 level we can start targeting the area around 440 bucks but we can also see on the four hour time frame that there's a crucial hurdle if 365 is lost i'm going to look for longs around 340 and if that is lost i'm going to look for longs around the 280 level but that's not the case right now we have to hold here get a compression going if we get that compression going and test the highs again around the resistance area of 390 i think we can make a break it towards 440 in a relative fast pace um that's because also given the fact that we've got these frequent tests over here um, that one more test would most likely cause the price to break through and make it ready towards 440 bucks if we get a breakout like this towards 404 start to uh, move sideways here loose this is a clear short entry as most likely we're going to test the range the other part of the range um next to that we also have some uh articles on coin telegraph uh, we do see that Bitcoin is doing doing less well than Ethereum. Ethereum is doing relatively well year to date, which is fine. Um, that's also given the fact that Ethereum is a higher risk asset than Bitcoin. 
uh, might not be in your own portfolio, but in general it is. Any smaller coin than Bitcoin is imposing yourself to a higher level of risk. That's why having many small coins is not the approach you should have. Ethereum is looking for a higher low. Um, oh, nice. The link is not there. Ethereum is looking for a higher low. Got rejected at 460 bucks. Um, is establishing a new range through which the previous resistance zone is claiming for support. Um, if we get a range construction here and the next breakout above 460 would most likely give us a rally towards the next resistances at 600 bucks and 800 bucks through which we can define that um, we do see a higher high we do want to have a higher low and there's two levels that you should be interested on based from the weekly time frame through which the first one is 310 bucks on which we have bounced already the second one is the area around 220 to 250 which is unlikely getting a test as i've just described um, range bound construction as we are in the phase of accumulation or support resistance flips of previous resistance zones for confirmation of buyers stepping in before we start to accelerate and what we see in 2017 is such an acceleration which is very unlikely to be started to see at this point if we do break the 460 level which is the clear resistance zone i think 617 is the midterm resistance area and anything between 750 to 850 is the main priority uh, for resistances then we've got the cycles on each btc as you can see Every time it's January or December, there's a bottom construction going on through which it seems to be assumed that there might be some more uh, corrections coming up for ETH and for Bitcoin in general, as I've just described that there's a range bound construction. Um, it's also acting between 200 MA and 100 MA on the weekly time frame. If it breaks above, then there's a problem. There's a very likely case that we're going to stretch quite hard. Green area, um, anything from 0, 0, 0 0.025 sets to 0.027 sets is a very interesting zone for Ethereum. If we do get a rally going, I'm part targeting 0 0.6 and I'm targeting 0 0.72 for any clear resistances. However, we should be uh, aware of the fact that Ethereum BTC itself, oh, I don't have the chart here, which is unfortunate. Let's do it on a new chart. Ethereum BTC is looking quite weak, which indicates that the momentum is there on Bitcoin and there's still not much momentum on altcoins. We do see that we've had many tests at this support level. If we get another test going on ETH, it's very likely that we're going to fall through and then I'm going to target the 0 026 level that I've just discussed in the area as potential entry zone um, for longs as that's also the 200 week MA area and it's still an untested level um, that's most likely receiving a test which is also going to be a massive long entry as we're just uh, breaking out of the range retesting range making another move to the next level um, as an impulse wave so that's my small update i hope you have enjoyed it um, thank you for watching and i'll see you back tomorrow on a fresh new update